Gummy's party. As Pinky hopped down the road, she could only think of her excitement. She used her back legs to kick herself into the air, and her front to catch herself when she hit the ground. The fun she had by doing anything, even just walking, it made her so excited, even when nothing was happening. Today was different, though. There was something happening. She waved hello to every pony she saw along the road. Bouncing along, her hair was moving every which way as she turned, waved, jumped, and yelled hellos and highs all over Ponyville. Every pony looked different today. Whenever she said hi, they got a worried look on their face. The kind someone would make if there was something terrifying behind you. This is why, by a few minutes, Piggy Pie started to look very slowly behind her every time they had that strange look. Nothing. Nothing at all. Her bouncy high jumps turned into quick hops. Soon the quick hops turned into just a quick cheery gallop. The gallop faded into a slow trot. Soon there was no spring in her step, just a slow, cautious walk. She stopped saying hi to everyone. When she reached her house, she saw the balloons and smiled. She couldn't wait. She grabbed a few things off the kitchen and put them on a tray, then set the tray on the table. Gummy! She called for her little pet. The cookies are ready! Wanna try one? A long pause broke her cheeriness. Usually she'd see him walking right fast over when he offered any of her treats. She walked slowly up the stairs. Gummy! Gummy! She checked her party basement. Nothing. She checked her kitchen. Nothing. She checked everywhere she knew he'd been. Nothing. She thought as she sat down on the rug next to the table. Today's his birthday. He should be celebrating here with all his friends. Pinky slowly walked, head hung low. When she reached the barn, she was absolutely terrified in a very surprised way. She slowly reached her hoof out to knock on the door, but was interrupted by seeing an eye staring back at her. She jumped and almost hit her head against the tall apple tree. The eye widened in surprise, and she saw it turn and shift, then disappear like it was never there. The pink pony got up. Jack? Silence hit through the sound of the birds and the wind. There was nothing anymore. Come on, Jack. She slowly pushed open the door and heard a gasp. <gasps> Are you coming to Gummy's party? No response. She slowly slid herself in and felt something wet on her hooves. She started to step back when the lights turned on. She closed her eyes from the brightness. When she opened them, she quickly looked down to make sure what was on the floor wasn't blood. It wasn't. It was water. Spilt water. Jack! She was cut off by being pinned to the floor. Why are you here? How did you escape? Escape? What? Jack? What? Abba Jack sighed. <sighs> How do you know to call me that? Pinky looked at her puzzled. Get out and run! Said Applejack scaredly. Pinky was confused. But she did what Applejack told her and quickly darted from the bar. Ignoring the apple worm was hung with a rope from the tree quite brutally. Granny Smith was laying dead in her rocking chair, and Macintosh was nowhere in sight, nor was Winona. Pinky trotted down what used to be her home. She felt like it wasn't anymore, was it? It didn't feel like she ever went to this town. It was like a different place altogether. Her mane flattened. Her fur became a tint of gray. Tears filled her eyes as she walked down towards the boutique. Rarity, she whispered, seeing the door was nowhere in sight. Sweetie Belle walked out. She looked like she was starving. She was bruised and scratched. Her ears folded back at the sight of, pink, of a pink horse in front of her. She dropped to the floor, hooves over her eyes. P please, D don't tell me. Please. She was shaking. Pinky looked puzzled. She sat beside Sweetie Belle, leaning against her, stroking her silky mane. A tear rolled down her fur as she felt Sweetie Belle wrap her, her small arms around her, hugging her tightly. 
Can you tell me what happened? She asked. Sweetie Belle nodded. She explained the most horrifying thing Pinky had ever heard. Gummy had died, and Pinky went insane. Every day she invited the ponies to his next party. Soon she stopped asking after every pony hid from her. Pinky Pie locked her to herself away, never to be sane. Applejack murdered a Rarity and Greedy Smith. Applemoon committed suicide out of insanity. Every pony else slowly passed away, all except the town folk, including 